I'm Rosette. I don't think it's a question of whether or not Rosette has what it takes to make it big. I know that she has what it takes to make it big. She's got such a unique look. It's not like anything you're seeing out there. It's not the typical blonde bubblegum pop. She's got such a unique background and ethnicity that it's just, it's it's something new. I was first introduced into the music scene when I was about 15 years old. I did a bunch of competitions, talent shows, and then I did Pop Stars. I did really, really well. And then I did Crushed, and that went to number one. I am going across Canada and touring, doing little club dates and anything. Just I just love to sing, I love to get out there, I love to meet my fans. My fans are everything to me, they're awesome. My name's Jensen Vaughn, I'm a songwriter and a producer. I've also worked with Rosette for the last four years. I think that Rosette is unique because she has a star quality. I think that you can teach a lot of people how to sing and dance and even act in certain things, but you can't teach somebody how to walk into a room and wow people. Rosette's different from other artists in the sense that she doesn't need a team of a thousand people behind her to make her who she is. She has an interesting combination of the ability to sing and dance. You'll sometimes find entertainers that can do one or the other, but she can sing and dance, and, and she also is an incredible songwriter as well. She comes up with fantastic melody ideas and lyrical concepts. Not a lot of artists actually can write and do write what Rosette does. A lot of people think that artists lip sync. I don't lip sync. And I want people to know that, that there are artists there that actually sing their songs and, and are actual performers. I can verify that it was your voice. Okay. You didn't lip sync. No, I didn't. I think Crushed was successful because a lot of people could relate to it, like kids, teenagers, adults. It was a song about love. It was a song about heartbreak. So that's why I think a lot of people related to that song. Beach, blonde hair. Up skirt, six inch heels, my feet hurt. The message that I was trying to send with Ditsy Girl was to not take it seriously. It is just to make fun of the stereotypes, it's just a fun song, and it's making fun of Ditsy Girl. All these reality shows were coming out and anyone would do anything to be famous. So that's kind of why I wrote Fame. It was just to show nowadays anyone can be famous. It doesn't matter if you have talent or no talent. You can just, just do it. Like in any career, you get so many doors closed in your face, but then you get so many beautiful windows opening. And she's just such an inspirational person. She's a hard worker. I We thought, summer song, sexy, hot. I just noticed that they all like Ditsy Girl. They like the sound, they like the dance kind of feel. So when I went back to Jensen, you know, let's write a song that caters to more of the club scene. Anyone that's wanting to dance or has a bad day, put that song on and they feel good about themselves. Primeworks Multimedia.